Yo, what's good guys? In this video, I'll be taking y'all with me to go get a haircut. Right now, I'm looking terrible. But I put my contacts on. I'm just feeling like really bad. Like, I feel sick as crap. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I look, I don't even want to go get a haircut for real. That's how bad I'm feeling. But right now, let's go do that. I'm going to put my contacts on. Probably make a bagel. And then we'll see what's up. All right, child, I'm back. Put my contacts on. Feeling great. I'm not going to lie to you. But feeling a little bit better. For some reason, I'm feeling a little bit better. Since I got the glasses off, Look, I'm feeling a little better. I ain't gonna cap to you. Like, I feel like I'm gonna change my pants. So let me change my pants and then go make a bagel with some cream cheese, no cap, because they be hitting. For real, they be hitting. Look at that. Ooh, that look really good. I put the butter on. All that looks really good. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. And then when the butter looks like that, bro, oh, that means it's gonna look so good. So let me turn this off. Hold on. All right, and bro, literally put the sugar on, and it's gonna be good. Hold up, let me set the camera down. So right now, I, I'm gonna just put the sugar. What I do is get a a spoon of sugar, and then just add it, and then just start mixing it up, mixing it up, mixing it up, mixing it up. I literally always did this when I was a kid, bro. Like literally, like. I used to do this all the time. It's not even like a thing that I started now. I used to do this all the time. So I'm about to eat that, put all the stuff away, and then head to my haircut. Right now, feeling a little bit better. I'm at the 50% range. All right, so I am back. Right now, I'm on the way to the gas station, and then I'm gonna be on the way to go get my haircut. Low key, I'm usually am on time with most stuff, but right now, low key running a little late. Why? Because it's like 10 10 and my haircut's at 11 and it's like 30 minutes away. Dang, I look. Wow. That's the, bro, I love this jacket, but that's the thing I hate. It makes, right now I'm at the gas station filling up the baby, the GMC, you know, the vibes. I'm not even gonna fill it up all the way, to be honest. I don't really drive it. I drive mainly the red one. So whenever I don't drive most of my trucks, I just fill it like halfway and then go on about my day. So yeah, after this, I'm gonna go over there and see what's up. I'm gonna just put 30 bucks in it. That's it. 30 bucks low could be taking it halfway though. I ain't even gonna cow with you. Yo guys, so I am at the haircut place. Low key, I'm feeling terrible. Like I was saying, you're like 75% right now. Hopefully when I get out, I feel a little bit better. But low key, since I am in favor, I was thinking about going to Jashan's crib and like pranking him. Cause I know in high school, they used to do this thing in our high school where like, like if someone gets off early, they put the windshield wipers up. And, like, obviously, when you get out, you're like, yo, who did that, blah, blah. So, low key, I might go to his house and go do that. He'll probably post it and be like, yo, what the freak? We have an intruder or something, something. And then, like, if I do see a post like that, I'll obviously get the camera and record it. But, yeah, let me go ahead and do this real quick. Yo, what's good, Chiny? I'm feeling sick no more. For real, I'm feeling good. I'm... Hold on, I'm looking at someone. Yo, I'm feeling good. I ain't even okay. I feel 100% better. All right, so right now, we're about to pull up to Jashan's house. We about to pull up to Jashan's house, and I'm about to put all the windshield wipers up. I want to see if he makes an Instagram post about it. Oh, there go the trucks, yo! I'm dead. I wonder if he's awake. I don't know if he's awake. I gotta do. I gotta park the truck. Look, he's somewhere far. Well, I'm gonna park behind his. But I'm gonna see what's up. I'm gonna see what's up. Oh shit! Stupid, stupid UPS, bro. What? What you doing? Get out the way. There go his trucks. I'm gonna just put all the windshield wipers up, and I'm gonna leave. That's all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> let, me, let me go do that. Yo guys, as you can see, I couldn't do any of the other trucks. I only did the F-150 and the Camaro, the Corvette. I couldn't do it because of the hood and this one as well because of the hood. So I did the Camaro, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna post about it. I promise you, he's gonna wake up and he's gonna make a post about it, I promise you. But right now I am, I am gonna be on the way home. I gotta go pick up the kids, it's already 136, so I'm gonna get home around 236, so I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna have to be home and so i can go pick up my little brother and my little sister so yeah i'll see you guys in a few but besides that i just want to do a little quick vlog damn i was gonna say how i got a new haircut that i'm i gotta go to starbucks i gotta do all that yo i want to tell you guys something always appreciate anything bro it don't matter if, if you're driving or whatever whatever bro look but he is walking while fucking raining bro literally like like i don't want to hear people ever 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 complain about 
their situation or this and this their car is not the best this and this bro that man is legit walking while it's pouring outside bro some people need to appreciate the whips they got or etc cetera, etc cetera. whenever their parents give them their first car and it's not what they want bro you gotta appreciate that bro that bro a lot of people would not walk in the water a lot of people would not do that miss he's doing it he probably gotta go somewhere i don't know his situation but it's tough whenever you see stuff like that bro it, it, it really is it like it kind of messes with me but right now i am about to head to the crib so i'll see you there also let me tell you this i'm not gonna lie i just got this haircut why the hell do I look more cleaner? Obviously because I got a haircut, but face looking right, everything looking right. Like when I'm open, when I just open my phone, I look low key lighter and all that. And I was like, damn. But yeah, y'all see what the haircut do? Y'all see what the haircut do? I'm feeling different. I ain't gonna count. I'm feeling different. I'm finna go to Target. I'm finna go get some Starbucks. Finna, finna post a snap with y'all. Oh shit, why am I stopping? I'm tripping. That's what happens when you get a haircut. You be tripping. You don't know what you be doing for real. Yo, what's good, guys? I am back. I just got home. Hold up. Hold up. That, that could look be That could look for your thumbnail. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Anyways, I am back. I'm at the crib now. We got the GMC right here. I'm about to go inside, make some food, probably make a sandwich. Because eating now, bro, every day is not it. Like, I was doing my taxes, bro. I'm not even lying to you. I was doing my taxes and I was uh, writing down. How much I was spending on food every month, bro. And since I work by myself, obviously I'm gonna eat by myself and I'm gonna eat out. And all that adds up, bro. Basically, like every month I was spending at least four, four to five hundred dollars a month just on fast food and all that. And I was like, yo, I gotta chill out with this. I just saw a comment, like literally on my phone. It said, This egger is full, is a waste of mommy's and daddy's money. When I see comments about that, when they say daddy's money, this and this, bro, this house is so big. And when I first got here, I was so uncomfortable. I was not used to it. My mom's house, we live in a trailer park. Obviously, I, I still go see her. I still go see her and stuff. We don't even have a laundry room. We literally just have the laundry, the, the dryer and the washer, literally right there in the hallway and all that. Like, it's crazy. Like, a lot of people gonna talk regardless. Like, if I continue to do YouTube and all this, <laughs> Obviously, I know there's haters, there's people that's going to leave hella comments or whatnot. But honestly, that should motivate you. Literally, that should motivate you, no cap. But yeah, this is the type of haircut I get. A lot of people do be asking. I literally just asked for a low fade. And look, today, I told them to cut the top. Like, just cut the ends. Within two weeks, it's going to grow back out. And I'm going to tell them the same thing. So that's basically what I do. Right now, like I said, I'm going to make something to eat. But it is a rainy day, so that's why I'm not at work. But tomorrow, this morning, I can receive the phone call. I received the phone call, and some guy was like, yo, good morning, blah, blah, Like, somebody gave me your number. I heard you do roofing. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I do roofing, blah, blah. And tomorrow, I'm going to go check that out. And then I have another person that called me. Well, texted me yesterday. was like, yo, like, are you back from Mexico? I got something for you to do, blah, blah. So I got those two things going on tomorrow. And then after that, probably just chill. But, yeah, thank the Lord for another day of of blessings opportunities that da 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 and i love whenever i meet new people and all that because then i'll have connections when th when someone else has a problem they'll be like yo i know this guy blah 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 and you know stuff goes on like that so i'm pretty happy about that yo so like i told you i am gonna make some food i'll make a sandwich look let me tell you i used to eat cereal and sandwiches every single day every day every day my dad used to make fun of me i'm not even lying to you my dad used to make fun of me because he knew that my mom never cooked. He'd be like, so what? Like, every time I come over, like, as a kid over here, he'd be like, have you ate? Like, like I know your mom don't cook. And I'm just like, bruh. Like, obviously, I would be mad or whatnot. But my dad would always cook my ass about that. He'd be like, I know your mama don't cook. What you be eating over there? I'm like, damn, bro. You ain't even have to do me like that for real. But that makes me crazy, bro. But yeah, right now I'm gonna make a sandwich. I mean, usually I always do that. And when I make a sandwich, I do what I did this morning. I make that um, I make that toasted bread with butter, with sugar, and all that. It's pretty good, but I'm not even gonna lie to you. Growing up, that's <laughs> that's literally all I had to eat. But I ain't even gonna cap to you. One person that always made sure I always had food in my stomach, bro, was my aunt. I have messages, text messages of me literally telling her, hey, good morning, do you have food? Next following week, hey, do you have food? Do you have food? Bro, messages literally, do you have food? Do you have food? Do you have food? In Spanish, bro. She'll be like, yeah, I'll come over. Or she'll be like, no, not today. Or stuff like that. But bro, 
She always took care of me, bro. And I promise you, when I'm up, bro, I am taking care of my aunt, bro. I promise to you, bro. Like, she's been there for me no matter what. She, like, literally loves me. She takes care of me. She, bro, that lady, bro, she's going to get everything. One day, if when I'm able to, bro, I want to take her on a shopping spree, like Sam's Club. Because I know sometimes uh, her and my other aunt, they be going to Sam's Club. And they, like, spend the whole day in Fayetteville, you know, shopping. One day I want to do that and like just pay for it all, you know? That's what I really want to do. She deserves everything, bro. Last time, like for my birthday, that Saturday, she was like, hey, I'm making breakfast for everybody. Come over. I'm making your favorite, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, bro, she deserves everything. Growing up, I didn't have everything. I'll tell you that for a fact. I remember I would ask for a freaking Nintendo Switch. Never got it from my dad. I would ask for a PS4. Never got it. I would ask for Jordans. Never got it. So all that makes me, mot it, it motivates me and... It makes me want to do more in life. Although, I don't even like Jordans now. Jordans are cool. Don't get me wrong, but I just wouldn't wear them now. But let me tell you, a lot of people say I had it good growing up, this and this. And I'm not going to say my dad was never there for me. This man always made sure I had a fresh haircut. That was it. Literally, that was it. I was always in, in Converse's or Vans. That's the thing. And I don't blame my dad for nothing. I'm actually proud the way I grew up. I really am. If I grew up the way that, like, my siblings are growing up now, nice house, everything they have, you know, like, they want something, they get it. If not, then they'll get it, like, another time. If I was like that, bro, I probably would have no ambition on becoming a better person, no ambition on becoming successful, not wanting to create my own businesses. And this, I also have a, a party rental business, like, where I rent out chairs, bouncy houses, and tables, and all that. A lot of people probably don't know that, but I do that as well. I want to... I want to overcome everything. I want to be able to have incomes from different places and all that. And a lot of people always saying, just because I post his trucks and all that doesn't mean I'm literally claiming them or anything. If anything, he likes when I post them. A lot of people get mad because of that. Like, how are you mad that my dad is happy that I post his trucks? Or why are you mad that your parents don't have the same shit, you know? Like, I'm, I'm fucking happy that this man... Came up from the bottom, got everything. Look at this house. This house is amazing. When he first got it done, I told him straight up, I'm proud of your accomplishments, this and this and all that. I'm proud of my dad. This is exactly why I don't like touching the kitchen and none of that, bro. I literally put this to high. I have my face. This is me being stupid. I, I have my face right here, literally like right here, and I put it a high. Literally flames came out and fucking burnt my fucking face. I mean, obviously, I'm not fucking burnt right now, but I mean, my skin color, yeah, but... Damn, bro, that shit was scary. I ain't gonna care, bro. That shit burnt the hell out of me. Oh, my goodness. So, right now, I am done cooking. Well, making a sandwich and the little to uh, toast bread. I forgot I had this cake, so I'm gonna eat some of that, too. But honestly, bro, literally growing up while playing the game, this is literally what I would eat. Every time during, like, like when the Fortnite match finishes, I would quickly make a sandwich or make some of this, bro. Literally. But, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grow up, put, put, something, put something on TV. And yeah, and I'll have to pick up the kids literally within an hour. So yeah, I'll see you guys. I just got done eating. Well, I'm onto the cake, but I don't even think I'm gonna eat the cake. But look, I'm thinking. I was gonna watch YouTube on that, but it didn't want to turn on. I don't know what's wrong with the remote, but I'm watching it on my phone. And I told my dad an idea that a business idea that I have a few days ago. He's like, yeah, do it. My stepmom, she has a building because she does insurance. And I was thinking, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to put a vending machine. People go in and out. Workers might need food, might want a little snack, a little drink. So that's what some something I want to invest to. He's like, yeah, go ahead and do it. Look, right now, I'm watching this. He's like, how I turn vending machines into a 300K business. Nothing in this world is easy. But that just clicked an idea in my head where I could show y'all that I'm about to start a business, a vending machine business. And I'll take you guys with me. I could literally do that. And you know what? I kind of want to do that. To prove to you that nothing is impossible. Everything starts with an idea. It's just you to bring it, bring it out and make it happen. So now I'm going to really think about it. Probably look around. See if there's vending machines around. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you. Everything in this world is possible. It all starts with you. Literally. I don't know. I know I told you that my Loki got burnt from the thing. I don't know if in the last clip it showed. Because... I ain't even noticed, but I had like stuff right here in my hair. Look, look, him burnt my hair. Damn. But man, it's terrible outside. Let me let me show y'all. You you y'all think I had this growing up, bro? This is like so nice to me. It's so cool. 
Like I've never, never had this. Like it is so cool. Look at this. It feels nice. Who's ever watching this? Who's ever hearing this? I don't know if people watch like my videos through truly. But if you want to do better, you got to take a risk. You got to do something, bro. You just can't be working nine to five, bro. You got to do something. When I started the party rental business, I'm not going to lie. I've only had a few. I'm not up there. But, you know, I'm telling people, yo, like, I'll do this. I'll do that. Roofing. Roofing's doing good for me. But the party business, uh, it's not really doing that well. But, I mean, the chairs there, I mean, sometimes we have stuff over here or family over here. Or one now, but I definitely got people sometimes, maybe like once a month, twice a month. But I mean, no stress. I mean, it's all patience, you know, all patience. So gotta be patient. We'll see what's up. Oh shoot, yo guys, what is up? I told you in yesterday's video. Well, it's gonna be in this video, but I made a video about um I was vlogging yesterday, and I went to Jashan's house. I know y'all saw it about me putting the windshield wipers up. I told y'all he was gonna make a post about it. Let me show you in this video. Yesterday when I woke up and came outside, I seen someone had vandalized two of my vehicles, the Camaro and also the F-150. When I first seen that, I didn't really have too much reaction on who could it be because I already had a pretty good idea. He did not know it was me. Yesterday I called him, I said, yo, bro, everything straight with your house? I knew I should have recorded the phone call, but I didn't. He was like, nah, yeah, man, what's up, what happened, what happened? I was like, ain't nothing wrong with your car. He said, no, what? He, he said, that was you. You put my windshield wipers up. I was like, yeah, that man be lying to y'all, bro. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Like and subscribe and share.